Let's turn now to the food guy. The last two years, we've seen a bumper crop of new pizzerias uh, cropping up around Chicago, with styles ranging from deep dish and tavern style to Detroit and Sicilian. We love our pizza. We do. Our food guy is always on the hunt for a great pie, and he's found a new spot on the northwest side where they started out with one style and then added a second after popular demand. Steve Delinsky with the story. The chef behind Giant, one of the city's better restaurants, jumped into pizza during the pandemic, then opened a spot next door doing thin East Coast inspired pies. Now those required some tweaking and while he perfected those pizzas, he added a weekly tavern style to the mix. Guess which one is more popular with the neighbors? Chicago isn't blessed with a ton of slice shops, but at Pizza Mata, a sister restaurant to Giant in Logan Square, the vibe is certainly East Coast with its compact dining room and modest case. You know, we have Giant next door and we take a lot of feedback from customers and the feedback was they wanted slices. Vincent spent months working on an East Coast style thin that now ferments for eight days, allowing for more depth and complexity. The fermentation definitely deepens the flavor. It makes it sour, but also very pleasantly so. Bianco Dinopoli tomatoes serve as a base, then a sprinkling of Pecorino Romano. Vincent always places a few balls of fresh mozzarella beneath his handfuls of grande shredded mozz, adding an extra boost of creaminess. The Cleveland native opts for Columbus Ohio-based Izo pepperoni and bakes the pie for about a dozen minutes until it emerges with an evenly browned crust, a tight but airy crumb, and a properly charred undercarriage. Experimenting with his dough sheeter, he decided more recently to add a Chicago-style thin. Two different doughs, two different fermentation lengths, two different sort of critical points that you have to look at every day when you check on your dough. The thins cure overnight in the fridge to help them dry out, unlike his other pies. I'm assuming like having twins, where you see them both, but you have to check on their needs independently. Same basic construction, sauce, then pecorino and mozzarella. We go with a sausage and jardinera because why not? And the bake time is similar. Post-bake, he finishes it with shredded sarvecchio, kind of a Wisconsin Parmesan that's super nutty. The results, that crispy, crunchy crust, cracker thin, is exactly what the regulars love. The pies are elevated somewhat thanks to Vincent's commitment to using the best ingredients he can find. The thought of using commodity pork or chicken or whatever really just bums me out. A lots of name dropping on this menu, but in a good way, Izo Pepperoni, Slagle Farms Sausage Ham and Chicken, Four Star Mushrooms. If there was ever a marriage between a thoughtful Chicago chef and a pizzeria, this is it. More info about Pizza Mata on our website, NBCChicago.com. Just search for The Food Guy. Back to you too. A perfect marriage in twins. Wow. All talks, you know, delicious pizza. You ever done jardiner on a pizza? Oh, before? you betcha. Oh, yeah. First thing when I do, I go home downstairs to the chest freezer, those store bought cheap pizzas. <laughs> out of here. Out of here. We Get the can good doctor stuff. Them up a we little. can Come do on. better. No, no, there's no doctoring to be those <laughs> after seeing that.